We've discovered a lot of great things happening in the community during the stay-at-home order. Neighbors helping neighbors are amongst them, of course, and sharing faith in the community today through the Silverwood neighborhood. Creating the group Silver Hearts is Giovanna De Benedetto and Pastor Casey Taylor of Quest Church. They join me today via Zoom. Giovanna, let's start with you. Talk about this project and how it got started and why you're kind of spearheading it. Well, first of all, hi, and um, thank you for um, allowing us to get the word out about this. So, um, Silverwood is a very unique community. Um, with a, we are kind of a lower and we are a very lower income part of Urbana off of Philo Road and Silver Street. And we're unique in that we have very um, income challenged area and we also have not so income challenged area a few blocks away. So our focus really is on the income challenged because people have lost their jobs, kids are home. So, you know, food expenses are going up for families, um, things like that. So. I've, I've done a lot of work in this community already. Um, I, I live here, so it's very dear to my heart. And having children, we realized that the children were being taken care of through the, through the programs, through the school, which is awesome. Huge load off our minds, right? But you have a lot of people that do not have children, that are not, they no longer have access to the things like the food pantries that they need now, that they depend on so heavily to get through the month. And you guys um, even the children jump in in a pretty significant way in terms of trying to provide at least the basics for what these families need. What are some of the things that uh, this program is designed to give to these families? So we are. Um, it's designed to give food. Um, uh, you know, whatever basic foods, we're partnering with food pantries to get to assist with that. Uh, we're also looking at being able to provide household things, um, be it paper products, toilet paper, paper towels, napkins, um, household cleaners, things like that. Um, All right. Well, uh, Casey is with the Quest Church. And Casey, talk about your involvement with this project and why you guys decided that this was going to be something that uh, you were going to help out with. Yeah, thanks for uh, inviting us in to, to talk about this. Um, uh, our church over the last year has been talking about how to know and love our neighbors better. And as part of that, uh, we want to try to get to know and love our neighbors um, in the area where we meet, which is on Philo Road. And Giovanna uh, and I have worked together before on a block party for the neighborhood. And actually, again, she reached out to me and several other pastors about uh, could we come together and collaborate on helping some of our folks here in the neighborhood? Uh, specifically, as she said, those in, in the apartments who lack some of the transportation and may lack some of the financial resources and advantages uh, that others of us may take advantage or, or uh, take, for, take for granted, rather. And as um, I understand it, you guys aren't necessarily collecting the items you're trying to fundraise so that you can get them at a better deal and then provide more in, in bulk to some of these families. That's absolutely correct. Um, I've been a part of efforts in the past for relief and people love to send donations in kind and sometimes that's helpful, but right now that's not what we're doing. We're collaborating with other partners and food banks to purchase uh, the food, and so we are doing fundraising. Uh, it is through the church. There is a small fee associated with that. It does not go any of that to the church, simply to uh, to the financial processor for those. But people can do that by text. They can do it online at our website, or people can write a good old-fashioned check and mail it to the church where it is uh, safely picked up on a daily basis. And how long are you guys uh, collecting funds for? Is there a, a, a deadline or a time limit? I think like most everybody else, we're kind of doing things um, uh, as they come. And so right now, I think we're planning to do this for the next few months. I would safely say it at least April and May and probably June as well, but we'll kind of play things by year. Uh, but we'll be accepting those gifts and putting them to use for the folks in Silverwood as long as possible. Well, Giovanna and Casey, thank you guys for uh, doing what you are doing and making a difference in these communities. And we'll try to point as many people your direction as we possibly can. We will do that through our website, all the information uh, to connect you with Quest Church and to uh, get your donations where it needs to go for uh, these neighborhoods can be found at our website. Just go to CILiving.tv.